Welcome to 21st of Mars God Blessing. Now what does it mean to be a sunflower? A sunflower is always looking at the sun and taking the rays. Wherever the sun moves, the sunflower also moves that same way. Aren't we supposed to be the same as a sunflower? Looking at the Supreme Godfather who is the son of knowledge, S-U-N, not S-O-N, of knowledge. And we look at him forever, that means we are in remembrance of him so that we can get his rays and light and heal ourselves and even cleanse our past life's karmas. So God here talks about this flower and the meaning of this flower in a spiritual essence. So God says, may you be just like a sunflower and constantly in front of and close to the Father by always shining in the light of the sun of knowledge. A sunflower is constantly in the light of the sun. It always faces the sun and its petals are in a circle like the sun. It's like, you know, that's how we even design the solar panel, some of us. We make them like a petal so that all the rays are on each petal. In the same way, the children who stay close to and in front of the sun of knowledge, that means they are always remembering God in the supreme abode, the red golden world or the sixth element where the supreme creator resides like a point of light. They are always in their third eye looking at him, that means facing the sun. In front of the sun of knowledge, never become distant from him. That means they're always getting the rays, they're always feeling closeness as if God is there looking after them and has his hand over them, the hand of light, not a physical hand. They are like sunflowers that shine in the light of the sun of knowledge. So God is the sun of knowledge. Which knowledge? About the creation, how it was created, how we were sent over here, how the world transforms. The different ages of the earth, the different ages of human beings is all known by the Creator and also make others shine. So He is the one who if we face like the sunflower, always remembering Him, then His light is going to shine on us and also going to make others shine. So we, when we receive His light, we take His light and we give it out to others. That's the only method of being in constant light of God and being in a peaceful essence and a powerful essence and receive all the different forms of light which we are missing out in our own lives as a being. How do you do this is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris. How to face the Creator, not the face face, but how to remember Him so that we don't have to face the Creator in the end. And he only can absolve our sins through his light. So do come over and learn this beautiful knowledge in Brahma Kumaris, a center which is, I'm sure, very close to your house. Just Google it and find out. Om Shanti with this.